Hi friends, welcome back to this video tutorial on a JSF and JDBC project example. In the previous videos we saw how to configure the Eclipse project for JSF, how to create a view with a table where to list the employees, and uh, how to create a table using JDBC API. Now we will uh, retrieve uh, data from the database using a JDBC select query. This is the JSF view where we will list the employees retrieved in the database. So let, uh, let's uh, see uh, the table now in the database. Uh, it's empty. So we're going to create, to insert some uh, data, sample data. using uh, uh, the data source explorer sql editor execute all okay now we have to create a new method here in this class to um, uh, to retrieve into the, from the database uh, all the employees uh, that uh, will be uh, listed into the into this view so okay we can uh, copy and paste the code of the new method find all employees This method is uh, similar to that one that we saw for the creation of the table. So, uh, first of all, we, we are using the values of the connection here, set uh, defined here. So, the JDBC driver for Derby database, the URL uh, where the, the database is stored in the file system of my computer and the username and password then uh, here we are we are registering the JDBC driver uh, this is the creation of the uh, connection object with the method uh, get connection um, passing it to it the parameter of the connection then here we are creating uh, uh, the statement object uh, for that connection. This is the SQL query string. Select uh, access from the table uh, uh, app dot employees, and uh, with the execute query, we are executing the query on the database, applying it to the uh, statement object. Uh, as you can see, in this case, we are using uh, exit query instead of uh, execute update because this is only a select query and not uh, an update or insert or something that modify uh, data or um, objects in the database. Okay, uh, now uh, the value uh, returned by the execute query method is uh, a result set. It is a collection uh, of all the, the rows that, uh, uh, the, that uh, uh, has been, uh, uh, has been uh, retrieved in the database. So uh, here uh, we, are, we are cycling uh, on this uh, set, result set, and um, uh, for each uh, cycle we set uh, the values of the row to uh, a current employee object, an object of a class employee, and add this employee to the employee list, that is a collection of objects of uh, employee class. 
so at the end of this cycle we will have an, an object that is employee list um, that is a collection of all the employees retrieved in the database finally we can uh, close the statement object and the connection object and return uh, to the collection to the method that uh, uh, called uh, this method now we can use this method in the backing beam here Backing employees uh, dot find uh, all employees is the method called by the GSF view, and uh, here uh, we uh, put null. Now we can uh, uh, use the method to retrieve uh, employees into the database. So employee employees no. Is the object uh, to use to call the, the method, and then we can put here the calling to the method find all employees. Okay, so uh, this method will be called by the JSF demo. Yeah, we can see here the content. Uh, where of the uh, JSF view, where in the age column data table there is the uh, expression language um, called to this method in the backend bin, and uh, from the backend bin we uh, we are calling the method into business object here. It's all ready to run our application. So let's run employees uh, JSF view. Okay, these are the uh, employees that we stored before into the database. We can add a footer to this table where to show the total number of employees uh, listed into the table. So let's copy the tag of the footer. And paste here. after all the column definitions and here this is the f column facet uh, tag with the name footer that is a, a specific name to indicate the footer of the age column uh, data table uh, tag of JSF and uh, in this uh, uh, footer we call with the expression language, this expression language, the same uh, method that uh, return the collection of employees, uh, to which we apply the site method to obtain the number of uh, items of the collection. Now let's uh, restart the application. So, okay, this is the footer with the number of three uh, employees in the list. Okay, that's all. In the next video, we will see how to add a new employee to the list using a JSF uh, navigation and a new um, uh, JSF view.
where to insert the data of the new employee. Thank you for your attention and bye.